What is going on guys? Welcome to the final part of our uh, directional movement system tutorial video. In this video we are going to uh, you know, get our true answer to whether or not we did this right. The moment of truth coming right up. Uh, so I'm going to assume most of you guys did indeed uh, follow from the last video. I don't know how you'd be doing any of this if you hadn't, but just in case, uh, I guess you could just uh, get the script here, starting point.py, it's the empty code paste that into here and between these lines is where we add all of our new code so now uh, we come to what we have just built up uh, which is here and let me see here so let me fit this one to screen where I just pasted all this stuff in and this is the code that we just built so in theory all we really need to do is we already have exponential moving average defined so I'm just going to delete that from here. You might want to keep it on hand if, if uh, you want to save each individual script. Because um, what you can eventually start to do is uh, when I'm done with all of this, I'll probably add them all into my charting application and then allow users to choose like the indicators that they want. So eventually, I mean, you want to have all this stuff on hand and you could leave it in this file and then you could just import every single file uh, and do that, but again, you would all already have exponential moving average defined, so there wouldn't really be a need for this, uh, or for that rather. But anyways, uh, so we want everything here. We already get the stock data, so we don't need to copy and paste that. But we do need TR, literally all the way down to where we print out ADX, uh, and we actually even have to call ADX. But we'll get there. So copy all that, and we'll have to align it. Keep that in mind. Paste it all. And we can see, really, it looks like we need to at least get a couple tabs over. Uh, let's see how, how we uh, do. Keep scrolling. Here we go. Okay, so really we have to do one, two tabs uh, to be all set, looks like. So now ADX. Don't forget, we have to actually call ADX. And you'll have to call it in the same alignment as, like, right here, right? So come down, delete call ADX to make sure it runs. Now we actually want to go ahead and plot this stuff up. Uh, a good thing to do um, that I thought about I should have done in the last few videos is, at least for me, whenever I chart stuff in Python, if I start charting and then hit an error, my computer gets very angry with me and throws nasty little errors. So instead, I'll just encase everything in a try and accept loop. That way, if we do have an exception, it'll still chart it in Python and my computer won't get angry at me. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. But within this try, all we really need to do, at least at this time, we have to, we're plotting three different lines, right? So we do ax2.plot, and then what do we want to plot? Well, um, let's actually, um, let's see, hold on, let me think for a second. So within, actually what we can do is let's take this and put this within the, uh, And so this is within the ADX uh, function. So we try, and um, we hit ADX here, okay? We printed out ADX, and now let's go ahead and we're gonna say um, the plot date equals date one colon. Uh, and then, I think we're ready at this point. So now plot, and we're gonna do plot date, and again, so all of the data lines up, we'll do minus SP colon. Then we also want to plot ADX minus SP colon. Finally, we're going to plot that line. A lot of times you'll see it black if the background of the chart is uh, white. In our case, the background of our chart is it's not black, I don't think. It's a very dark color, though. It's a dark blue, I want to say. Uh, so we'll plot the ADX line as a W for white. Then ax2.plot, and again we want to do uh, this plot date, and again we want to do minus sp colon, but this line is going to be the positive di line, but again this is going to be minus sp colon, and since it's the positive di line, we're going to make this line g for green. Finally ax2.plot. We want to do uh, plot date, 
minus sp colon negative di minus sp colon finally this one is going to be red that'll be pretty true on every chart for the most part most people plot that this line is green this line is red now let's just add the label plot y label is adx 14 color equals w so again like later on you could have this all in its own little function um, or its own little script import that script and then you could really just have these things as either top indicators or bottom indicators or like on chart indicators right so some of the things like Bollinger bands or whatever you're gonna have those like on the chart and then so like this would be a bottom indicator for example and AX0 which is where RSI is would be top indicator and so on but anyway more on that later I'll probably cover the tutorial of doing all that uh, when we're all done here and have like just this massive amount of uh, indicators that we can choose from save it let's go ahead and run it see if we got any errors uh, we'll do we'll do eBay again that was a decent one I think um, looks good to me we did print out everything we'll, we'll silence those printouts uh, but the chart itself looks good let's fit it to screen here um, so anyway, yeah, looks good. Uh, I think eBay is one of the ones I did show you guys. So, um, so everything looks good actually. We've been getting pretty lucky with uh, very few typos and bugs in, uh, in my scripts. So, we're definitely due for some massive ones. <laughs> anyway, um, so that concludes this video uh, with the uh, directional movement system. Um, if everything covered so far, I kind of like this one the best. Not sure I'd actually trade on it or anything, but um, as far as you know, all of these indica indicators go, this one's probably the, the closest to being a legitimate uh, usable indicator in my opinion. Anyway, uh, so that's going to include uh, this ADX uh, tutorial se mini series, I suppose, within the uh, math and indicators large series. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for the support of the subscriptions, and until next time.